it up. You'll be my next employee of the month if you keep doing that. Oh, hello. I'm Randy Tucker. I'll be your host tonight, along with Carol Jones. Our story tonight is on Smog the Dragon. Join Carol now. Thanks, Randy. We're here on a stormy afternoon in Escaro, also called Lake Town, where the notorious dragon Smog has fallen dead. As you can see here behind me, he has been shot dead by an arrow. Let's get a close up on that, Steve. Oh, Jesus Crow, look at those fangs. Jesus Crow Almighty. What a stinger, Randy. Man, Carol, that is one heck of a dragon. Great footage, Steve. You would keep it up. Just amazing. Everyone is doing great today. Ah, anyways, who was the noble man that slayed this terrible beast that everyone has been talking about? The rumor is, Randy, that a very heroic bard of Lake Town had shot Smog down in Smog's only weak spot, a, a, uh, a unprotected bald spot on Smog's right breast. How are the residents of Lake Town taking it? The people of Lake Town, Randy, are in all sorts of stages of grief, relief, and shock. The word is that Smog was a jerk dragon, and it is a relief that a jerk dragon is no longer living in the mountain next door. Do they blame anyone for this disaster? Many place blame on a group of 13 dwarves and a peculiar little man of the Hobbit race that passed through Lake Town just a couple of days ago. Many of the town had long heard prophecies of the king under the mountain to take back the mountain, and many believed it was the dwarves who were this prophecy. So Lake Town received and sent them off with high hopes and good spirits, although now that Smog has decimated their town, they are angry with the dwarves and place blame on them for this atrocious disaster. I'm here now, Randy, with some local citizens. Tell me, sir, were you a part of the fight against Smog? Well, after he burnt my house down, I ran out to him with that scaly fellow in my hoe. And do you blame the dwarves for this disaster? Well, if a group of youngsters were knocking on my door and I was taking a nap, I would hit them with my hoe. And you, ma'am, you look very frazzled. What are your thoughts on the attack of, and defeat of Smog? Well, all I can say is that it was a big dragon, and it gave me, Froffy, me Froffy here, a very big scare. A very big scare, and a very big dragon. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> what are the deets on Bard? And how about the restoration of the town? Uh, yes. Bard was really just another guy on the street before his takedown of Smog, Randy. And as for the restoration of the town, it will take some effort. I'm here with Bard now. Bard, would you come in? What's up? Yes, uh, Bard, now that you are the new leader of Lake Town, what are your plans for its restoration? I plan to ask the Dorse for the stupid go, because they were the ones that provoked this stupid dragon. Yes, um, and could you give us some details on the takedown of Smog? Well, I was all like shooting my arrows at this, this dumb dragon next to all these other dumb guys. And all of a sudden this little birdie came up to me and he was like, Shoot him in his pectoral muscle! And I was like, I don't even know what that is! But then the dragon reared up his angry little legs and I saw this little spot where obviously I was supposed to shoot. So when I shot it, all of a sudden I just, I just had this feeling. When the arrow sank into his stanky little pectoral muscle, I knew he was dead. Right. Very interesting, Bard. Thank you for your time. Back to you. Hey, Miss, can I get your number? Uh, no, sir. Your I don't, eyes I don't are the prettiest know. eyes uh, I've ever seen. Back to you, seen. Randy. Thank you for your time. Wow. What a heck of a good-looking man. We just don't have that many people around here like that anymore. From everyone here at Channel 5 News. 
I'm Randy Tucker. Have a great night, folks, and live large. Looking good, Candace. Can I get a picture with my victim? Sure. All right. Say Slayer. Slumdog Slayer. Well, it's filming. <laughs> okay. Dwarves and a, a peculiar little man of the Hobbit race. <laughs> One dragon. Steve. Great footage. Always, man. Ah, uh, drinks tonight. Yeah. <laughs> what are the deets on bar? Stop furrowing your brows! <laughs> oh my god! The top news story of Smog the Dragon. Candace is with him now. Carol! On the takedown of Smog. All right. Like, why would you do that, you crazy little bird? And the bird was just like, trust me, son. So I was like, all right. <laughs>